Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss and explain Playwright JavaScript test scripts. Okay, so first of all, I will explain the auto generated test script. Okay, I will discuss each and every step. Then I will explain the Playwright config files. What is the use of the Playwright config file? After that, I will explain the pycat.json file and then I will create one test for orange HRM login functionality. So now let's start. So when we create and install the Playwright for JavaScript, then you will get some sample uh, script, right? Demo script. So if you are if you are not aware like how we set up the JavaScript with Playwright, then go to the my previous video, okay, and watch. So here once we initialize and set up the and install the Playwright, it will create some default file stuck files, and these are the file structures. On the here and under the test folders we have one sample script right so playwright has two functions provide two functions one is the test and second is the expect test is basically will helps to define the test method okay and expect we will use for the verification to validate the verify validate the values like here you can see expect to have titles there is a method to have title so it will verify the title similar type have method here get have attribute okay to have URL so all these methods are expect method which will helps to verify the values so test function will helps to create the and define the test so this is the test name okay and we have here mere function as async because uh, playwright provides some synchronization functionalities so we can use async and await so here there is first page right this is the object which will holds the uh, page object okay of the application of the browser and if i call the page dot go to so it will navigate the url and we have then expect after the navigating the url it will verify the page title is playwright or not then next we have getting the locators by text okay get started button and then it will verify the href it has docs intro or not so these are the simple this is a simple test script now next there is another demo test is created okay for simple here there is a multiple tests are defined test describe basically this will define the suite where we can add multiple methods right this is one method and here we have sample demo playwright to do mbc, MBC url okay for this url there are some sample test scripts automatically created Next we have packet.json file. So basically this JSON file where we, this JSON file is used by the NPM node module where we can add the dependencies and also we can add some commands right here to execute the test. So in the dependency we have dev dependencies here. So dev means if we add any dependencies like here if I, I added the playwright test. So this playwright test will automatically install when we run the npm install command in any particular machine okay and this will store npm like playwright test will store under the node module folder so this is auto generated folders so this will generate when we run the npm install command so next we have playwright config file here we need import the playwright test for device and we have here constant uh, config sections where 
first line test directory this will define where our test is available so all the tests we have defined under the test directory so that's why here it is mentioned test then we have here there, there is a timeout so right so this is the maximum time to run the test script okay like if i reduce this like suppose that one into one and if i go and run the test here you will see test will fail timeout because we have mentioned there one millisecond right so this timeout will give us the time how much time it will take and this is the in millisecond this is the maximum time your test will run then we have expect right timeout 500 5000 millisecond means this is equal to 5 seconds so for the verification it will wait maximum 5 seconds we have here full parallel to run the test parallelly files parallelly we have forward forward only okay process this is related to ci when we pass the value from the environment variables this is also from retries right how many times we want to retry so by default is zero so when we run pass the from command line some value then it will go accordingly workers one reporter this will generate the reports under this html we have mentioned here so it will generate the report in html format this is the used right here we have mentioned action timeout zero headless false it means it will run in the head headed mode we have trace right we will discuss in more detail what is the trace all these things and here there are configuration like this is the project configuration right and this this is the different different browsers configuration we have and we can run the test on this browser by selecting the profile so this is the uh, basic details of the uh, files which is generated now next let's create one test here so we have orange hrm application so suppose that i am going to create here one test for the orange hrm login functionality so first of all we need to call the test so i am going to use the same java file c uh, js file okay so test mention here like verify login functionality of orange hr then comma we need to use here async then pass the page method body now next here we need to call first of its first statement we need to navigate the url so for that we need to call the page dot go to url so let me copy so this is the url okay it will navigate the url next step we have we need to send or enter the text so call the await page dot locator method go to here inspect the locators of the user and password fields so this is the name we can create here css and then here need to call fill method and enter the username next await page dot locator this is name is password so this is password css selector dot fill admin one two three 
so we can also add the verify the title after the navigating the URL so for that we can call the await expect page dot to have title and its title is orange HRM so let's add here orange HRM so next step we need to click on the login button so let's create locator so it has by button right there is only one button so let's directly call the button and here we need to call the click method this code await is the locator button click on the login button and after that we need to verify user is login successfully or not okay so let me verify the dashboard text is available first we need to create locator so this is the s86 so h6 i created here x path await page dot locator this object we can store in a variable like dashboard then we need to call the expect dashboard dot there is a method to have text okay and then here we need to pass dashboard so one simple test is ready okay for the login test for orange charm let me run this click here So it's launched the browser. Now it is going to navigate here yeah, login and test is done. So, so this is my first test I have written here. So I will create some more tutorials for the playwright with Java. Okay, so keep watching the videos.